What's up YouTube? This is Mikuji Crypto. Today we're going to be taking a look at Bitcoin, specifically BTC slash USDT. And I'm going to be doing a complete analysis on Bitcoin, which means we'll be taking a look at Bitcoin on every single time frame. So if this sounds interesting, let's get started. <music> Hey everyone, so before we get started, I would like to let you know, if you haven't already subscribed, do hit the subscribe button below, because I do make videos on a daily basis, and these videos are designed specifically to help out the viewers here today. Also, I do have a Patreon service, the Patreon service will be in the description below. If you are interested in the Patreon, what I do in the Patreon is, any trade I get into before I get into a trade, I will call it out. If the members here want to follow me on the Patreon, they can and they can follow my trades. I also teach technical analysis where I have about 16 videos so far where I teach you exactly how I trade that way you can benefit the members here during this bull cycle. I will also do technical analysis on your altcoins and show you the best entries and the best exits and I will also show you the best picks for the week that I get into that I will show you the members here as well. If you are interested the Patreon will be in my description below. Now let's get started on BTC and let's take a look at BTC on every single time frame. Now, BTC, or this video I should say, is going to be mostly about Fibs and Fibonacci. And how are we going to be using the Fibonacci to better understand as to what's currently happening? On the Fibonacci, we have different levels. We have the 86, the 786, the 618, the 0 0.5, the 382, and the 236. If you see over here, the most important level within the Fibonacci is regarded towards the golden zone. The golden zone is this box over here, which is the 50 and the 618. Currently, BTC is at the golden zone, so it is detrimental that BTC breaks above the 618 region, which is currently coming in at $51,000. If you can break above $51,000 and hold it as support, this is very important because the golden zone is an area that price action after impulse likes to retrace towards, and then if it rejects it, it will go back down once again to continue its impulsive moves towards the downside which is why it is important to break above the 50 and the 618 and hold this area as support for BTC. If I go to the daily aspect and I examine as to what's currently happening on the daily aspect, and I mark off structure right now. So we have this structure, which is an ascending trend line, and we have this structure over here, which is another ascending trend line. So we can see right now that BTC is making a series of higher highs and higher lows within the daily aspect. And this is quite evidently seen over here. We are making a very bullish structure with a low, a high, a higher low, a higher high, a higher low. And now we're possibly trying to figure out where our next higher high will be for BTC. And to better understand this, we'll have to look at the daily aspect and examine exactly what happened on the daily aspect. On the daily aspect, we have closed with a type of bearish candlestick pattern. This candlestick pattern is referred to as a shooting star. There's different types of shooting stars. There's a red shooting star, there's a green shooting star. When you have a shooting star such as this, what price action likes to do is price action likes to go back and back test these Fibonacci zones. So if I use the Fibonacci zones and I place it within the shooting star or upon the shooting star from the top to the bottom, we can see that price action likes to go and test these levels, whether it's a 382, whether it's a 50, where there is a 618 and if price action goes and tests these levels either price action can reject these levels or hold these levels as support so if i take a look at this as to where we currently are right now we are currently rejecting the 382 on the shooting star itself so it is important for btc to break above this 382 level to get up to the golden zone which is the 50 and the 618 and at that point in time, we will see if you reject it or we go higher. But this candlestick over here that has just closed on the daily aspect is a bearish candlestick pattern. So when you have these green candlestick patterns, again, these bearish, the green ones specifically, you tend to go and try to fill up the wick as to some extent, whether or not you completely shoot above the wick or whether or not you hold these areas of resistance to push down is still to be determined. I'll have to examine this more on the four hour chart to get a better understanding of what's currently happening. On the four hour chart, what is happening with BTC? If I use a trend line from the bottom to the top, 
we can see currently that BTC is respecting this trend line over here. If I use a Fibonacci zone from the bottom to the top over here to determine how far we can come down, these areas below us, or I should mark off the golden zone below us, is the 50 and the 618. And this is, in my opinion, the maximum extent BTC can come down if we break this level. Okay, so right now we are sitting at a support zone. This is a support zone over here. So if we do break this yellow box that we're currently in right now, this yellow box is also a pivot point with these orange lines, if you can see over here. When you tend to break these pivot points, it would turn into a resistance. And if we tend to hold it at resistance, then we can come back down to these levels. Our immediate level that we could fall down for BTC would be the 382, which is this target seen right over here. This is the first target, the 382. If we're capable of breaking below this yellow box, that is. Right over here, 48,052. This would be the first target if we break underneath this yellow box for a retracement. Our second target would be the 50 and the 618, which is seen as this golden box below us. And this also coincides really nicely with that of the ascending trend line as well. Okay, so keep this in mind. We are extremely bullish, yes. But if you have to understand where we are right now, we are making a smaller ascending trend line towards the upside. If we break this ascending trend line, we'll have to come down towards zones of support. And currently, the zones of support below us is seen at 48,052, which coincides with these areas of support. And our next zone of support will be the 50 and the 618, which coincides with 47,304 and 46,500. So these are our main zones of support right below us. And this also has uh, confluence zones below us. If we're incapable of breaking below this trend line now, and if we hold the support zone right now, we'll have to see that as well. And to better understand as to what's currently happening as well. If we see the hourly aspect, we put a trend line from the top to the bottom. In fact, I can move this to the 30 minute. Put a trend line from the top to the bottom over here. We can see right now that BTC is rejecting a trend line. This trend line with a series of high highs and higher lows, that's what we're rejecting right now. If I go to the 15 minute chart to examine this once again, we had a doji at the 15 minute chart, the trend line from the bottom to the top, and this is where we are. Okay, so BTC is trying to break above this trend line. If we're incapable of breaking above this trend line over here, if we're incapable of breaking above this trend line and back testing, to go towards the 50 or 618 then it is possible to break underneath this yellow box and if we break underneath this yellow box then we will have our move down towards these regions below us i should say not even 48,000. i should say these support zones below us as the immediate targets okay so this is what btc could do if we're incapable of breaking above this descending trend line and we break underneath this yellow box so it's important to hold these levels and it is important to stay above this yellow box Otherwise, we will have a heavy retracement towards these regions below us and possibly even these regions below us, depending upon what it does if it comes down to these regions. Okay, so um, thank you for watching. I believe this was a little longer than I would have expected. But again, thank you for watching and uh, I hope you learned something. And again, the link to my Patreon is in the description below. So thank you and have a good one. Bye.